Boeing engine cowling detaches, hits wing flap, forcing Southwest jet to return to Denver International Airport. U.S. aviation regulators have initiated an investigation following an alarming incident involving a Boeing aircraft operated by Southwest Airlines. During takeoff, an engine cowling detached and struck the wing flap, compelling flight 3695 to return to Denver International Airport. The plane, carrying 135 passengers and six crew members, bound for Houston, ascended to approximately 10,300 feet before safely returning just 25 minutes after departure, around 8.15 a.m. local time on Sunday. Fortunately, no injuries were reported. Southwest Airlines disclosed that maintenance teams are currently scrutinizing the aircraft. According to Federal Aviation Administration records, the plane entered service in June 2015. While Boeing deferred inquiries to Southwest regarding the airline's airplane and fleet operations, Southwest declined to specify the timing of the engine's last maintenance. Footage shared online depicted the tall engine cover flapping in the wind, prominently displaying a damaged Southwest logo. This incident adds to Boeing's recent challenges, including the January episode where a door plug panel detached from an Alaska Airlines 737 MAX 9 jet mid-flight at 16,000 feet. In response, the FAA temporarily grounded the MAX 9, curtailed Boeing's production rate, and mandated the development of a comprehensive plan to address quality control issues within 90 days. Boeing's production rate has since dipped below FAA's permitted maximum of 38 MAX planes per month. Additionally, the US Department of Justice has initiated a criminal investigation into the January incident. The FAA is also examining multiple other recent Southwest Boeing engine related issues including a flight that aborted takeoff in Texas due to reported engine problems, another flight in Texas that returned to the airport due to a possible engine issue, and a flight in Florida that returned after the crew reported an engine problem. Thanks.